Is antimatter the most dangerous substance in the universe? Let's find out. You've probably seen antimatter in sci-fi movies, powering starships, or blowing up entire cities. But what is it? And is it really that dangerous? First, antimatter is absolutely real. For every particle of normal matter we know, like the electrons, and protons that make up everything around us, there's a mirror image antiparticle. It has the same mass, but the opposite electric charge. So, an electron's antiparticle is called a positron. Simple enough, right? Here's where it gets wild. When a particle of matter meets its antiparticle, they don't just collide or explode, they annihilate. Poof! Both particles completely disappear and are converted into pure energy. This follows Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared, which means a tiny amount of mass can release a colossal amount of energy. So, can we make it? Yes. Scientists at places like CERN have created antimatter in huge particle accelerators. They've even managed to make and trap complete antihydrogen atoms. But there's a catch. They can only hold on to them for fractions of a second before they touch normal matter and annihilate. So no antimatter bombs are being secretly built in a lab somewhere. Despite what you might see in fiction, antimatter is incredibly rare. Tiny amounts are created naturally, like during lightning storms or when cosmic rays hit our atmosphere, but it's nowhere near enough to pose any threat. In fact, you've probably been hit by a few stray antiparticles in your lifetime without even noticing. What about cost? Well, producing just one single gram of antimatter is estimated to cost trillions of dollars. It would also require an unimaginable amount of energy we're talking about. Running all the world's major power plants for years just to create a gram. It's the most expensive substance ever conceived. So could we ever use antimatter as a fuel source? In theory, it would be the most efficient fuel possible. A tiny pellet could power a spaceship to other stars. But in reality, making enough of it is completely impractical with our current or even foreseeable technology. So, to answer our original question, is antimatter the most dangerous substance in the universe? Not really. It's too rare, too expensive, and too difficult to handle. It won't be destroying Earth or powering starships anytime soon. But it does hold the key to understanding one of the deepest mysteries of our existence. Why we're here at all. If you enjoyed this mind-bending topic, hit that like button, subscribe, and join us again for more unnecessary knowledge. Thanks for watching.